This, this is, is orange, orange chicken. chicken. I never could get orange and chicken together in one sentence and say it right. Because I kept on saying orange chicken instead of saying orange chicken. But today we are making orange chicken, which is invented by Panda Express. So we got to give our respect to Panda Express for making this awesome recipe in 1983, 1987, whenever they came up with this recipe. And this chicken has taken the world by storm. Everybody loves this recipe. Even though this is not an authentic Chinese recipe, this is a Chinese American recipe that we all dearly love. Whenever we go to a Chinese restaurant, we need to get this sweet and sour flavors together, whether it's orange chicken or whether it's sweet and sour chicken or whether it's lemon chicken, you're gonna have to have that flavors. If not, it doesn't feel like it's complete when you go to a Chinese restaurant. One thing I forgot to tell y'all is for this orange chicken, I marinated my chicken in Fanta. So if y'all have done that, let me know in the comments. But this seems to bring out the oranginess even more. It's just my opinion, but if y'all haven't tried it, try it and let me know. First things first, let's make the batter for this chicken. So I'm using one parts cornstarch to three parts flour. Why is that? Because cornstarch makes the chicken harder and flour makes it soft. So this is the perfect consistency of flour to cornstarch ratio. Then we're gonna add some white pepper, some salt, mix that up, and then add one egg and add two and a half cups of water. What I didn't record here is adding two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil. They actually do that. Most recipes do that. So add that and mix this all up. It will take about four to five minutes to completely dissolve and you don't want any lumps. So now you're adding the chicken that's been marinated in Fanta and you're mixing it all up. So before you're ready to fry. And Fanta actually changes the composition of this chicken a little bit. Now you want to put your oil, heat it up to 350 and start frying. Okay, I'm using like four to five minutes right here. And since the chicken was too big, what I had to do is I had to cut it in half and I had to refry it. So that was me cutting the chicken in half, adding a couple more tablespoons of cornstarch and refrying it for another four minutes. And we, you can also, once you do this, put your oven at 400 and keep this. Leave it in the oven for like 10 to 15 minutes so the crispiness remains while you make your sauce. To make the sauce, you're gonna add half a cup of sugar with quarter cup of brown sugar and then we're gonna use two different kinds of soy sauce. Dark soy sauce and light soy sauce in a one third cup. So you're gonna put some dark soy sauce, light soy sauce. If you don't have that, you can just put one third cup of regular soy sauce. Now you're gonna add one fourth cup water, three fourth cup vinegar to one cup of orange juice. And we're gonna also add some Shaoxing cooking wine. So a couple of tablespoons of that. And then we're gonna add some orange marmalade um, you can also add orange peels at this point, but I like this marmalade flavor it Brings out more of the orangey flavor for the orange chicken. So add that You know make sure you mix it all up and now it's the time to add your grated garlic grated ginger and your green onions and You want to cook this for like a couple minutes add some red chilies uh, Fresno chilies are fine take out the seeds and now you want to do your cornstarch slurry to start thickening up the sauce. This usually takes a few minutes to start thickening up because the cornstarch will help the sauce to nicely thicken up. So don't put too much cornstarch. Just put like one to one. So one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of water, like mix it up really good and then put it in your sauce. And when it's thickened, you can just run your finger across that spoon and now you know it's thick. Now it's the time to toss the chicken. You can also do the step on the stove on a wok, but I like to do it this way so you get the nice and crispiness of the chicken plus the awesome sauce and you can just eat this over rice. So, and if you're taking this to a party, you can just take the chicken separately with the sauce and everybody will be happy. You won't have any soggy orange chicken. So this is why I like to do it this way. You add some scallions. If you want to add some sesame seeds at the end, do that. And there you go, y'all. You got your orange chicken nice and ready 
cooked it for your dinner. Look at how beautiful that looks. I'm gonna taste it, let y'all know. Now let me taste this chicken. It's crispy, it's orangey, and the Fanta brings it out, brings out the flavor. Bomb. Bye Panda Express. Mm. Bye Panda Express. Panda Express who? Another day. What do you rate this chicken? Is this is this better than Panda Express? I have to say, I give it a 10 out of 10. Now if y'all like that video, click that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and don't forget to feast with Pete. Okay. This is orange chicken. Three, two, one. This is orange chicken. Mm. <laughs> this is orange chicken. <laughs> 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 <laughs>